116. Survival difficulty, class 1. Safe, secure, minimal, and did count. Level 116 is 117th level of the back rooms. It is a looping and empty ice rink, with temperatures varying depending on where in the level you are. Description. Level 116 is a looping, very cold ice rink that has different sections and portions that can easily and safely be accessed. This level can be accessed through colder levels, such as level 47, level 115, level negative 5, and the gift plane. It can also be entered by drowning yourself in level 7. The main area explorer typically ends up in the viewing area near the ice rink, but it is also possible to end up on the bleachers. The ice rink itself is the largest part, but is hard to directly use due to the slipperiness of the ice, and it's recommended to borrow a pair of ice skates to be able to access the rink directly. This level is generally safe, the only known entities being facelings, smilers, clumps, and the entity named for this level known as the tutor. The faint sound of laughter and ice skate blades against the ice can be heard from all directions, and the view from the central ice rink allows for most portions of the level to be seen. All face lengths in this level are docile, and can sometimes be seen playing in the arcade, skating on the ice, or opening lockers. The smell of cold air and steel radiates from all around. The viewing area is visible from the rink, a narrow wall of glass separating the two areas while rows of open bleachers surround parts of the rink. A noticeable void beneath them where smilers and clumps hiding underneath lay. The washrooms are not terribly far off. The women's and men's signs written in English and French. One noticeable feature at level 116 is the upside down color inverted green and black flags with an upside down maple leaf in the center. They rise to resemble the Canadian flag on the walls near the scoreboard. There is Wi-Fi connection. The washrooms can be no clip through and resemble standard washrooms with a familiar buzzing noise at level zero. There is no visible end to the rows of stalls, and traveling too far down can lead to getting lost. Occasional clumps hide in the toilets. Leaving the bathroom and going left leads to the viewing area, while going right leads into the bleachers. Traveling towards the faint arcade noises can lead to the arcade, a small space facing the rink, with working games such as a shooting gallery, paintball, and a claw machine. An exit door between the machines leads to a blue carpeted hallway that goes either to a party room or a dining room. No clipping into any arcade game leads to level 31 or 40. Entering the dining area can also lead to the snack bar, where a faceling wearing a uniform can give you almond water or food if asked. All food is safe, and you can sit on one of the chairs in the dining area to safely eat. Behind the snack area is an employee-only section, where the face link can be seen entering and leaving. If you enter this area, you will only find rooms and broken skates. The party rooms are typically empty, with posters and deflated balloons scattered in the area. It is possible that entering the party rooms and closing the door behind you can sometimes lead to level fun, but this has not been tested. The locker rooms can be entered by going down the viewing area into an open space full of lockers, which leads into another identical room and can get lost easily. The tutor can sometimes be found in these locker rooms. The kids' rink is a smaller rink near the central ice rink, with fragile ice and child facelings sometimes appearing to skate being its main attributes. The ice can easily be broken and can lead to negative levels. The skate rental portion is easily reached and is located not terribly far from the viewing area. A blue countertop with a Canadian measurement chart and brochures written in English and French facing the rest of the rink. The ice skate's rental is looping and the exploring it will lead to taking you back to the rest of the rink. The skate rental is run by an entity native to this level known as the Tutor. The Tutor is theorized to be related to level 31's of the coach. The tutor is a complex and intelligent faceling entity, appearing as a faceless woman with brown hair and a side ponytail in a hockey uniform, typically holding a hockey stick with a helmet obscuring her head. She is friendly, can help you live safely in the level, and can lead you out if asked. However, asking her questions about the coach or the back rooms will make her upset. Bases, Outposts, and Communities 
Odd as possible to have communities in level 116. None have been formed yet. Entrances and exits. Entrances. This level can be accessed with varying degrees of difficulty through the colder levels like level 47, level 115, level negative 5, and the gift plane. To enter level 116 to level 47 would require you to dig through the walls of the 47's igloo to jump down to the hole dug. Walking down level negative 5's infinite hallway allows for access to level 116, but the chance is very small and traveling deep into the gift plane will allow you to no clip into level 116. The most common way to get level 116 would be for you to use level 115's ski lifts to get into this level. Drowning oneself on level 7 would this be the least recommended way to enter, but can still lead if desired. Exits The common way to exit level 116 can include no clipping to an arcade machine in level 31's arcade or level 40's. Asking the tutor or any face sling where the exit is, or breaking the ice either in the main rink or the kids' rink will lead to an unknown, presumably undiscovered, negative level. Another way to exit is to fall into the void underneath the bleachers, but this is highly dangerous and will commonly lead to death or getting mauled by a smiler. No clipping to a locker in the locker rooms will lead to level 115.